Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and I welcome you to my new video tutorial. This video tutorial is um, I am making here is on a special request from my one YouTube follower and way back um, he asked me to make a video tutorial about trailing stops and I thought uh, yes I should make a video tutorial on trailing stops um, if someone wishes to include trailing stop in his expert advisor by watching this video tutorial you will be able to implement trailing stops in your expert advisors okay so let's go ahead and start <coughs> to implement trailing stop in your expert advisors you need some variables uh, to be created and the first variable I have created in here for trailing stop is the trailing stop value itself it will be an integer type value and I am giving it a number 50 so each time market moves in our favor by this number um, our expert advisor which will change will modify the stop loss by this number okay so if your if your trailing stop was um, somewhere here and you placed a sell order <coughs> if market goes in your favor if uh, the difference between these then these two numbers if market goes in your favor like if it's a sell order and market moves to this number here this trailing this stop loss will move from this position to this position okay um, this number we will specify inside our trailing stop variable in here okay so this will be the trailing stop value the next uh, variable I made in here is the boolean trailing variable which is a flag um, which tells ex our expert advisor if you want trailing stop to be enabled in your expert advisor or not okay so we we are giving our user to have this option like if they want trailing stop to work in their expert advisor or if they want uh, trailing stop uh, to be enabled in their expert advisor or not if they don't want a trailing stop to affect their trades you can sim they can simply go ahead and turn this um, trailing variable to false so it will not work the trailing stop will not work okay now let's go ahead down here and let me tell you what I did in here. I made a function and I call it trailing stp and inside this function I am checking the condition the value of that boolean type variable the trailing the trailing variable if it's true we want to call these two functions this function is um, <coughs> this function I have written in here it trails the buy orders and this function trails the sell orders okay so <coughs> if you will call this function it will handle all the buy trades and if market goes in fa in your favor uh, it will change the stop loss value it will modify the stop loss value so it will act like a trailing stop okay so let's go ahead and talk about this function in here what this function is I call this function trailing positions by and I'm passing the trailing stop value which I have defined above there and this trailing so stop variable equals 50 okay so I'm passing the 50 number in this function so now let's go ahead and see what this function this function does it takes that that very that very uh, variable passed to it in its variable called trailing stop 
it gets that variable in this variable and this this value will will be using um, inside this this code in here so here I have written the for loop which will uh, loop through all the trades which are there on the trade window in my mt4 trading platform it will select the very first trade in its first iteration the zeroth trade and it will select that very trade uh, by using this order select function we are selecting our very first trade in its first iteration and the condition written inside this if uh, this if condition in here if that very order is selected we come inside the body of this if condition and we check if the selected order symbol equals the symbol of the chart uh, with which this expert is attached if those symbols are equal the symbol of the the symbol of the order and the symbol of the chart if they are both equal we come inside the body of this if and we check the order type if order type is by and order magic number equals the magic number we specified above there we go inside the body of this if uh, if condition <coughs> and we test here if bid minus order open price is greater than trailing stop multiplied by point then if this condition is true we go inside the, this if um, this if body which started here and we check whether the order stop loss is less than bid minus trailing stop multiplied by point we call this modify stop loss function and we pass this value to this function okay so this will be our next uh, our next value um, with which we want that stop loss to be okay so now let's go ahead and see modify stop loss function in modify stop loss function we are getting the very stop loss value which we are now setting for our order and I have created a boolean type fun boolean type variable called fm and fm equals order modify this is predefined function in mql4 programming and i am passing the or selected orders ticket its open price and the stop loss value which we have calculated above here um here bit minus trailing stop multiplied by point okay so we are passing this value inside into this function and when this function will be called and this value will be supplied to it it will change the stop loss of that very order okay so each time each time if market goes in our favor um, like if market is uh, initially we set a stop loss value below 50 points of the open price and if market goes in our favor above 50 points uh, this condition will be true and this condition will be true So it will pass the current value, the bit minus trailing stop multiplied by point, and it this order modify function will set that value to the very trade which was selected. Okay. So if you don't understand all of these all this stuff, you can go ahead and start. Um, typing it by your own and simply you will go ahead and write all these functions in your expert advisor 
add these four functions in your expert advisor like the first function is this one the second function is the trailing positions buy and the third function is the trailing position sell which handles the sell orders and it changes the stop loss uh, of those sell trades and the fourth function here is the modify stop loss function itself which actually changes the stop loss as the market proceeds uh, and it goes in our favor okay so these four functions uh, together uh, they implement trailing stop in your expert advisor how to use them you simply go ahead and call the trailing stp function inside your start function okay so it by calling this function you are now implementing trailing stop in your expert advisor okay and it will work for you it will uh, trail your orders with the specified number um, given as an input here it, if you will change this number to 20 your trailing stop is now 20 and if you call this function uh, from your start function it will implement the trailing stop um, for you in your expert advisor and the trailing stop value will be 20 for your expert advisor so each time um, market goes in your favor 20 points it will change the stop loss value of all your orders by 20 points okay and it will do the same for sell trades if uh, the market goes in your favor if market goes down and it goes in your favor uh, with the number you specified above uh, in the inputs uh, it will do the trailing stop for sell orders as well okay i hope you have learned something if you don't learn if you have if you didn't understand anything you can simply go ahead and copy all these four functions from here and you just go ahead and call this function which is trailing stp from your star function and you are ready to implement you have already implemented the trailing stop inside your expert advisor okay by calling this function and adding these four function in your expert advisors you successfully implement trailing stop in your expert advisor okay thank you for watching my tutorial i hope you have learned something uh, if you have any questions or if you need this code you can ask me below comments and I will post um, that code to you. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.